Hey y'all, welcome to Saturday Sublimation, week four, take two. Oh my goodness, it's been a week. Okay, I had this awesome video completed, ready to go. It was a no-go. Here we are, take two, sublimation, air fresheners, and instead of breast cancer awareness for October, we'll redo a file I had used for sublimation and DTF for fall, Thanksgiving. I had done this DTF on a tea towel. I'll be sure to link that below. And all I did was resize it for a mug, duplicate it, and then drag the background image to fill in the gap. If you're a member of our group, I'll be sure and share the file there. got to size this the size of our blank. I've already sized this the size of our mug. Okay, align top or bottom, either way, they're the same height. We have our mug and our air freshener. We need to create a coaster. Okay. My coasters are four inch circles. Same thing, let's align. Bottom, slice, it's a line right. Slice. We'll see which one looks better. Can delete it. Can delete it. We have our mug, our coaster, and our air freshener. This is a very nice gift, I believe. It's not all going to fit on one anyways, so I'm not going to stress. I'll just use regular size paper. Be sure to mirror. We could fit a few more come on there if I had more time. But again, this is my second time recording this. I did not get it up last week. I don't want to take any chances this week. I use the Epson Echo Tank 2400s Easy Ink Sublimation Ink HTV Rant Sublimation Paper. I turn off bleed. I use System Dialog and I print with best quality available. You don't have to cut on the Cricut. 
but I will just for the convenience. If you don't have a light grip mat, just make sure you're using an older standard grip so that way your paper doesn't curl when you take it off. The pack I purchased from Amazon has rectangle, square, circle, heart, and another kind of rectangle. Hole at the top versus hole on the side. They're really thick, good quality. I'm excited to show you how great I think these are. I don't know how long the fragrance lasts, but you can personalize these so perfectly. The best advice I can give is always when you're done cutting, lay your mat flat, other side, peel away, and your items are less likely to curl. I have the Beaver Auto Press for extra pressure for sublimation. I just toss on extra heat pads. One from Amazon, one from Cricut. Parchment paper to protect them. I'm going to add a little more tape because it looked like it already curled on the sides of the air freshener. I've got my parchment paper to protect my heat press. I set it to 400 degrees, 90 seconds. If this is your first time watching my channel, hi, I'm Heather. I swear it usually a little better than this. <laughs> I love sublimation. I hope if you want to know more about sublimation that you subscribe, that you like, that you comment what you want to know. I am not a professional. I am here to grow and learn with you, have fun with you, celebrate with you. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. What are your favorite mugs? My absolute favorite mugs are Cricut. I use the Cricut mug press. What do you use? I usually order packs of four mugs. This pack of six mugs was so affordable on Amazon. Let's see what we get inside. Six dishwasher safe mugs in giftable shippable boxes for an affordable price. Thank you Amazon. So with the air fresheners not only are they personalizable with the image but also with the scent. You can do your favorite scent. You can do someone else's favorite scent. You do in memoriam you could do a scent that reminds you of them. We have our coaster. Air freshener. I made my mug cradle out of old Cricut tubes and a hot glue. I see nice ones on Amazon, but this one works just fine for me. Our mug press is heated up. Just aligning my mug. I'll tape it down. We'll press. And these take a lot longer than these to cool down because ceramic holds the heat. The felt and the rubber and the polyester don't hold the heat so well. The kit that I ordered for these air fresheners, I'll link in my Facebook group, came with the string, came with these little gift sacks, I just 
something different, something extra to go with everything. I hope you think it's as cool as I do too. And they are two-sided. I just forgot to print the second one. I can press it later. When I have to sublimate something else, I'll just print a second one of these. It's pretty easy to fix a mess up like that. And then with these, we just spray them and then put them inside of the sacks. You can use your fancy essential oils. I'm not an oil person. I'm not even a perfume person. This is my favorite perfume. Victoria's Secret Bombshell Summer. They don't make it anymore. I couldn't even tell you when this is from. Maybe 10 years ago? I don't know. Our mug is almost ready. I hope you like Saturday Sublimation. I love it. I was pretty stressed when I couldn't get this to upload last week. These little sacks, they have a little liner of adhesive. I'm not going to peel it because, like I said, I can always repress the other side. When your mug comes out of the mug press, it's going to be super hot. Let it cool. It's still warm. It's warm. Be careful. Don't burn yourself. Perfume not included. <laughs> For real, Saturday sublimation. We might be missing one week from the series. Forgive me. Do my best not to let you down again. I hope I see you right back here next week. Thank you.